Very excited to demonstrate a new feature that I've been waiting on for a while in Microsoft Stream, and that is noise suppression. It's the ability to separate the background noise from the foreground speech in your videos. And I wanted to show you an example of what this sounds like, as well as how you can enable it for a newly uploaded video, as well as an existing video. So we're gonna take a video right here. I've got one on my desktop that I recorded with my speakers blaring out some construction noise. So there's a lot of heavy machinery in the background, there's beeping, things like that. And we're gonna see how good Microsoft is at separating that out so that I can turn that background noise off. Now, to upload this video, I'm on the Stream website, stream.microsoft.com. I'm going to go here to upload a video, and we're just gonna drag this onto the website to begin that upload process. I'm just gonna call this noise test and I already did this um, upload, so this is noise test number two. And then under the options, I'm going to uh, select the option to turn on noise suppression. So flip that switch on under options and go ahead and hit publish. Now, Microsoft has a great document on their website that I'll link to that shows when you may not have noise suppression available to you. And those would be videos that are too long or too large. So videos that are more than two hours in length or are larger than three gigabytes in size, as well as, of course, videos that don't have an audio track. There's nothing to process there. Um, likewise, on the other end of the spectrum, if you have a video that has more than one audio track, so if you've got like a, a Spanish track and a French track, you won't be able to process that video because um, it can only process videos that have a single audio track. And then another little caveat here is that if you're processing a live event or a Teams meeting recording, those won't have noise suppression available because that platform already has noise suppression built in at the time of recording. So they're not going to um, double process that video for you. So a couple little caveats to when you may or may not have noise suppression. But this video, this is just about a minute in length, so I had the noise suppression option. Let's take a look at how I can apply this to an existing video. So that's how you upload a video and apply noise suppression. If I want to um, apply this to a video that already exists, like this how to share a file from OneDrive, I'll simply click the little pencil icon next to here to edit the video details. And then in the same spot as before, under the options area, I have noise suppression. I can turn that on and I can hit apply. Now you should be aware that when you're doing this, there's going to be a little bit of um, a processing time that you need to wait for. So uh, give it a few minutes, maybe a few hours, depending on the length of the video, and just check in a little bit later. So with all that said, let's take a uh, listen into what this sounds like with noise suppression by Microsoft Stream. So the way that the end user will turn on or off noise suppression is using this little person icon right here with the little like noise, uh, waves coming out of their head. And we're going to turn that off initially, start playing this video, and then I'll turn it on and off so that you can hear the difference. It's pretty stark. Okay, this is a test of uh, me talking over some uh, construction site sounds. Um, this is like 30 minutes of big equipment moving around. There's a beeping in the background. And the idea is hopefully I'm gonna show you what noise suppression sounds like in Microsoft Teams. So you could turn this background noise on or off. So I'm having to speak pretty loudly to kind of overcome that uh, construction noise. And uh, we'll upload this in a second and see how it sounds with noise suppression off. So you have it, there's noise suppression in Microsoft Stream for your recorded videos and your existing videos. Thanks a lot for watching.